feet. So let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. So, y'all, we about to get into Krishan done follow Jaden for some reason. Uh, House of Blues caught it. Krishan follow and unfollow Jaden earlier today was T. Um, so here it is. They have the proof of it. Uh, Krishan following. And then Krishan on Twitter laugh is laughing about it. <laughs> I don't know what Krishan was doing. Let's see what the comments say. <clears throat> She still can't believe that Blue hasn't been over to the house to see the baby. She told him not to come, that she called the cops, pressed charges, and was going to call his probation officer. So Blue said, okay. He always called her bluff. She expected Blue to be chasing her down over the baby like he do Jaden, and he's not. She and her feelings, even though she act like she's not. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I got to agree, because I will that police shit, I, uh, uh, cause police can pull up and do anything to you. So I don't fool with the police. However, what he did do was a bit much. I think that she was just frustrated in the moment and, um, just got the pop on her shit, but she claimed she had already pressed charges and all of that. So I don't know if she really did it or not. Do we know anything about that? Y'all like, did we get an update? All right, Jaden's B day is tomorrow. She's gonna do anything she can to sabotage it, just like last year. Okay. <clears throat> what feature is that? Let's lets you see when someone followed, then unfollow someone else. This is just as fake as the text messages for Sean Senior baby baby mother be posting and his attempts to try and clean up his effed up image. Hmm. Okay, I'm not reading that. She's obsessed with his family. When you lurk in your finger slip facts. Uh, she's so desperate for attention at this point. It's sad. She's obsessed with the woman of the man she couldn't take away. Um, of course she did. She's just trying to get clout and attention. She needs to grow up. Um, she was stalking her page and accidentally did that. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know. <clears throat> My bad. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below about that. I don't know if that was an accident or not, but for her to go on Twitter and laugh about Child. whatever it is she laughed about, how coincidental. And it was at uh, it around was the same time. Timing. Yeah, perfect. so maybe she did that just to mess with them. I don't know. I, I tell you what, Krishan may not be done with Blueface, but Blueface might be done with Krishan, y'all. Right. Cause that to to say you're gonna press charges on me and then snitch to my PO officer Child, and all that. Please, please, please. <laughs> he please, he'll be there tomorrow. You think so? Yeah, yeah. They love that toxic shit. They love it. They just like to swim in a pool of toxic shit. <laughs> That's what they like. Well, we gonna find out. That's for damn sure. Yeah, they gonna be back together. All right, y'all. In the meantime, we about to get the, into Lotto and Magic City, child. Let's just get into it. Okay, you guys. So the dancer who blasted Lotto all over social media because she allegedly took all her money back from the dancers because somebody stole her wallet is out of a job. Now, if you oh. need a recap, you could watch my last two videos. And Lotto responded to what she had to say. She pretty much got on live with the dancers. Now, mind you, these are the same dancers that night from Magic City. Now, they all talk crap about this girl and Lotto was throwing money. So this girl took to her TikTok talk and she broke down everything she even called out one of the girls who were on live talking ish about her saying that she's the one who told her that lotto took all her money back so what? i'm gonna play that video first and then i'm gonna play the video with her stating that she lost her job but take a look uh. hey guys back again let me tell you how dirty like i'm too nice and everyone tells me I'm too nice. Like, I'm too nice, I'm too nice, I'm too nice. Y'all know somebody had to tell me about what happened, right? The same girl who told me they took the money just got on here, on live with the girl, posted a video tagging her, talking about some stop playing with my bitch name. Are you going to tell her that 
you're the one who confirmed it to me or do I have to post the screenshot? <laughs> Oh my and god. And that's white Russian. You know her? She's a known but you dancer. know what? That's what I get. That's what I get for standing up for people who like I'm gonna tell y'all right now. So back in the days when I was backsliding to Cleveland. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for those who don't know, I'm not from Cleveland. It's just a saying. Uh I used to take up for people at jobs. So the backslid I'm talking about right now is a job. The backslid. When I used to backslide <laughs> in Cleveland at the jobs. And when I had a job back in the days, uh, let somebody complain about something, girl, and we have a meeting. Baby, I bring it up. Got to. Because first of all, why you doing my friend like that? And girl, I'm the only one going, you know, going back and forth with the managers and shit. And the one who complained, she's sitting over there in the corner, not saying nothing. So I'm the only one in trouble. Okay. That's how I got fired from my last job. Let me tell you something. That was the last job. <laughs> tell you that. But anyway, um, child, she she shouldn't have spoke up. She shouldn't have spoke up. We're gonna have to go back though, cause uh, I don't necessarily know the necessarily to the whole okay, situation. Guys, so well, she gonna break it down, baby. Okay, uh, but yeah. see, this is this is two videos after the original two. What so we can we can too? watch it. These, like you see this one. I stood up for you. This Lord, is another one. Mercy. You think that that girl was going to just naturally? Oh yeah, let me give you all some money. No, like if she genuinely cared about y'all getting paid, she would just said, "Let me let me send them a zeal or let me send them a cash app." Y'all just worked a second time for the money you earned last night. But what really has me mind blown is that you really. Just went on here, posting a video with the girl. Ah, oh, stop playing in my bitch face. You the one who confirmed the story to me. And her speaking up and wasn't even there? Like, you was asking to get fired, sis. Why the hell are you speaking up for some shit? You wasn't even there. That's crazy. I didn't know she wasn't there. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what she said. I obviously wasn't there. <clears throat> the girl who just said whoever you said she was white Russian or whatever, mm -hmm. she's the one who told her. Mm. So now she and Lotto Face talking about don't ever play with her. Mm. Mm. And I'm going to post the screenshot because I'm nobody's do girl. Like, I'm nobody's just ha ha ha. Like, no. Like, nah, I would have minded my business, huh? Who's the one who told <laughs> me that she took the money? And this is the receipt she had. At work, okay, BB, did you end up getting your bread? I wanted to make sure I had the facts straight before I posted this story time. I hate that happened to you for real. I heard about all the BS. I'm always advocate for strippers because don't nobody give a damn about us for real. I'm learning to speak up, hoping they make it right. <laughs> no, they took our money. Girl, I got you. I hope my video makes them pay y'all something. <clears throat> I'm speaking out for all of us moving forward. They think we some weak ass bitches, uh huh? Girl, I'm charging that to the game. She charged it. Shit, so lame. I'm shocked. Magic not paying y'all at least something. Nah, he he not gonna do that. Oh, well, girl wasn't saying much. I mean, and she said, "Okay, BB, this did wasn't you for for you to chime in and help, huh? This was actually for you to mind your damn business. I would have. Yeah, I had to I learn my lesson to too, speak though. Speak out. Did she ended? up losing her job this is her going on tiktok explaining that she lost a job and how she feels about all of this because i decided to speak out against the things that were happening to me um me thinking that my job would have my back and they would stand by me and that they would support me i thought wrong Girl, yo, you don't matter. Lotto's money matters. Okay. They need Lotto's business again. Period. So they going to choose Lotto or whatever celebrity every time. I can't believe she did herself like this, though, y'all. She did. Nah, that's crazy. Because I actually have been terminated from Magic City. Fire, Damn. terminated, let go, whatever. Moving forward, um... I'm pretty much, you know, going to take the actions that I need to take to secure myself What's and that? what I have going on. But it's just sad because they did exactly what everyone 
would think they would do. Instead of proving everyone wrong that we got her back. This is our entertainer. Like, we got her. We gonna stand by her. Instead of my employer standing by me and holding me down because I'm right. I'm not lying about anything. Ryan, what you need to do? Come here. Come mm -hmm. here. Go sit in that corner for saying what you just said. Ryan talking about what you gonna do? File for unemployment? Yeah. You're not right. Somebody I've get a fall. I do. Told the truth about everything, every story that I've ever posted, it's a hundred percent true. <laughs> not go but work at stroke because I don't allow someone to go over me. Steal from uh -huh. me. Child, no other strip club is gonna want her. She's bad for business. Like you can't go around snitching on the celebrities. I know that's fucked up, but I mean that's the that's the name of their game. Harass celebrities is what keep their money coming in. I do not allow that, and I decided to speak up. It did cost me my job. Now, granted, exactly. Like I said, I'm gonna take the necessary actions that I need to take because all I did was bring light to a situation, <laughs> which you would call a whistleblower, right? So now moving forward, um, I just can't do anything but focus on myself, focus on my course, what I have going on with my YouTube, and you know, just hopefully live a different life. And you know what? It seems like she to get getting out of the strip club was probably a, you know, and no shade to the strippers, baby. I can't say I love them, but no shade to them. This might be a good thing, though. You know what I'm saying? She get out the strip club and get into something else expecting a lot of loyalty and friendship in a game that really doesn't have it i mean it seems like she's really surprised that she was let go but the simple fact is no one asked her to blast lotto and even they though didn't. it's and old girl didn't even say that girl old girl was like i'm gonna just charge it to the game like it is what it is it's all good seems wow. like her intentions were genuine and she meant well she's not looking at it like okay you made the club look bad because now people are looking at them like okay these dancers are thieves and also she's putting their business out there that they probably didn't want her to put out there so i think that she's kind of looking at things through a different spectrum and that's not the reality of the world that she's in yeah, so she needs not. to take that energy and just put it into herself only and not for other people because Facts. let's be real this is a dog eat dog world Facts. and when you're talking about the strip game i mean come on now you know what i'm saying she's not gonna get anybody that's gonna praise her for doing any of this so i think it is best she got fired so she can go yes. into a different direction yes but i do want to know what you guys feel about all of this now i'm just gonna be real i still stand on I would have took my money back too if my wallet was missing. But how do you feel about this? First of all, give me my wallet. I, I done looked out for y'all. I done got your bag up in this hole. Uh, give me my wallet. You right. know what I'm saying? And you don't give me my wallet. I told TT I would have did the same shit. However, as petty as that sounds, I wouldn't have. <laughs> like, if I was Lotto, I probably would have. Me being me, I would have charged it. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have never did business with them again. That's just what what it would have been for me. Yeah, I ain't about to pick that yeah, shit up. Yeah, because I mean, no picking that money floor. back up is just that's what? crazy. Like, really? I ain't you gonna took lie. the time out your day to do that shit, and mm -hmm. you lotto. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Big bank take little and, I, and how dare you pick money back up and you done threw right. it down? Like you would, I think that's kind of like disgraceful a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First like, of for all, her, I mean, I'm looking at magic. Like, where's y'all, y'all security guards? Because so I know too. Flame, Flame got them boys out there with they shovels. They got them out there with they big bags. I mean, big money bags picking up that money. Bitch, you, when you think about picking up some shit, it's already gone. I promise you. Yeah. So I'm just, I, I'm i sorry. I wouldn't have done that shit. I think it's real petty. I think it's little girlish. I really think it's yeah. just like undermining the dancers that's there. And, and the uh, time that they just spent to dance to for shake, your ass. They asked for you when yeah. they probably could have been at home in the bed cuddled up with their nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because that's probably what they wanted to do anyway. Somewhere in a safer environment. So That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I get it, though. You know, it is what it is. Uh, but y'all let us know what y'all think down in the mm -hmm. comment section below. Do you think Lotto is wrong? Um, for picking up that money, girl. Do you think she picked up the money? Okay. Do you okay, think the club picked up the money? Because if the club helped picked up the money, which Sad. which old girl wouldn't even be aware of, though. That's the problem. Old girl would not be aware of that. Like 
the other girl didn't even seem to have gone into depth. Uh, you know what I'm saying? About that. Like, I don't know. Let us know what you think about Lotto, but on old girl standpoint, she should have minded her business. I, I'm standing with that. She should have minded her damn business. Uh, from that text message, it, that's exactly what it said. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm, I'm charging I to the game. Elbow. Mind your business. <laughs> I'm that's just, what I I'm got just from it, too. to you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just venting, you know? So, if anything, she played herself. Right. Um, but y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabam.